Hallelujah. Now, there's so many people in this world today that doesn't believe in women preachers. And I'm not trying to force anybody to believe in women preachers. But I just want to let you know, even though that I was born and raised in a Pentecostal church, praise God, I was born in the church of God in Christ. Just wanted to let you know they have things against women preachers and pastors. But I find this, that there's no reason to go against a woman of God. Praise God. It is not our job to tell a woman that she is not called of God. It is not our job to tell a woman that she cannot pastor a church. Now, people get it wrong because they want to try to say, let women keep silence. Well, that's in 1 Corinthians or 2 Corinthians. But that scripture is talking about if the husband and the wife have a disagreement, praise God, then they should not tell it in the church. Women should keep silent and humble, praise God, their selves under the almighty hand of God. Praise God, because he will come in and try to fix that problem. It is not the women's job to tell everybody their business. Their business is between their husband and between them. Praise God. So that's why the scripture says, let women keep silence. Praise God. That's why. But people get it so caught up in they wrong because they believe in their traditions. They they think that women are not called of God. But let me tell you, women started the church, really. Because when you go to different churches and everything, you see mostly women. You don't see a lot of men in the church. But at this time, I just want to say that we thank God for Dr. H.L. Bostic. I have so much to say about her. I've known her for a while, a long time, praise God. And I just want to say that she, she, she is an anointed woman of God. And I thank God for her preaching, and I thank God for her church, praise God, and I thank God for blessing her. Let me tell you, she's been pastoring over 42 years, praise God. And, um, you know, she has been through many trials and tribulations, and uh, she's just an uh, overcomer. She has a testimony. She has something to say. Praise God. And she's a beautiful woman of God. She cares and loves for all the saints of God. And she wishes that all the saints of God will be blessed. And I'm with her. I hope that the saints of God will continue to just start praying and just asking God to bless them. We all need a blessing from the Lord. And also we need a word from the Lord. Amen. The, a word that remove all doubts. Praise God. We have some doubting spirits sometimes. When God says that he's going to do some things, sometimes we try to disagree with it. But whenever God says something that he's going to do, we should believe him and trust him at his word because he will not come short of his word. Praise God. And I just want to let you know that if you don't believe in women preachers, women are a fulfillment of the Bible. There are some women preachers in the Old Testament. Look at Deborah. Deborah was a righteous judge and she ministered under the anointing and auspices of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Now you don't find too many women preachers preaching in the New Testament. But women were preachers in the Old Testament. And I'm not saying that in the olden days they only just preached. But um, also, if you look at the Bible in the New Testament, you really don't see too much about it. But women can preach the Word of God. Just as long as they're preaching and teaching the Word of God, then they are right. I don't have anything against them. Now, hold on, everybody. This is this uh, recording is about um, uh, probably 20-something years old. And so anyway, um, this is Young Evangelist Brother Michael, uh, A.C. Johnson Jr. I was talking, I think I was a teenager. I probably was about 12 or 13. So anyway, I just want to say I stand to be corrected. Uh, there was uh, Phoebe in the Bible. Uh, I can't remember the scripture right now, but uh, one of the apostles had to help Phoebe and Priscilla. They were uh, uh, women preachers and pastors. Uh, in the body of Christ and uh, in the New Testament. 
So after all these years later, I stand to be corrected. But anyway, this is a, a throwback a recording. Uh, this is a journey of my, my life of uh, how I started ministering and testifying and having church and playing church uh, <laughs> that many years ago. And I am yet on the battlefield for the Lord. And so now it's 2021. But like I said, this video was recorded a great while ago in the early 2000s. My, my God. So anyway, God bless you. Keep in your prayers. Praise God. But women of God, if you are preachers or pastors, whatever your, your title may be, whatever title you wear and whatever shoe you fit in, praise God. I want you to walk there in it and just let God use you and anoint you and let God bless you. Praise God. God will speak for you when sometimes you don't have anything to say. Praise God. And just ignore those people who will try to discourage you from preaching and, and from doing the work of the Lord. Praise God. Don't let nobody stop you. You just keep on doing what you're doing. I encourage you. Praise God. Continue to press toward the mark of the high calling of Jesus Christ. Praise God. I'm telling you this out of my heart. I have love for you. Praise God. This is coming from the heart of Brother Michael A.C. Johnson Jr. Praise God. I love all the saints of God. I don't hate anybody. I love everybody because the scripture says love one another. And I'm just doing what the Bible tells me to do. But anyway, pray for Dr. Bostic. And pray for me. Praise God that the Lord will give me strength. I am also a kind of like a professional gospel artist and gospel evangelist. I travel all over the country, praise God, preaching and singing and testifying and participating in different worship services. And I also try to help the youth. I love helping youth. I love speaking for youth. Praise God. I love going to the conventions and musicals and all kind of church services. I just love having fun. And when you're safe, you do have fun in the house of the Lord. Praise God, because God protects you. God supplies all your needs. God just watches over us. Praise God. So I'm so grateful to God, and I'm so thankful unto God. I bless God for him, and I thank him for saving me at an early age. Praise God. God saved me at the age of seven. Right now, I'm 13 years old. Praise God. And um, I tell you, I just love the Lord with all my heart. Truly, the Lord is taking me higher, higher, and higher. Praise God now. It may seem that I'm old, but let me tell you, I'm a young man. Praise God. But I'm trapped into an old man's body. <laughs> That's what my mama says. Her name is Fritzy Pettis. She says that. But, you know, they enjoy my spirit, and they thank God for me because of the way I conduct myself. But it's not me. It's God. It's God in me. Praise God. When you have God inside of you and you really love Him, then that's the kind of spirit you have. Praise God. But anyway, I bless God and I don't want to talk on myself. But in t anyway, I just thank God for you listening and I hope that you are blessed and I just hope that God will just answer your prayers. I know some of you have been praying for God to work out miracles and to do things for you. But at this time, let's look to God. And at this time, we're going to just pray. And after I pray, I'm going to let you be. Praise God. But I thank you for listening. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before you humbly as we know how. Lord Jesus, we love you on today. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy, for your kindness, and for all that you have done for us, Lord. We bless your name, Jesus, because of who you are, Lord. I worship you, Lord. I adore you. I magnify you. I exalt your name. And I lift you up, O oh God, because you are high above the heavens. And you're victorious above all nations. Lord, so I give you the highest praise. And I hope that the saints of God will say hallelujah. Praise God, because you reign forever, Lord. And you reign, you will reign forever. God bless us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Keep us, O oh God. Bless the ones who are having trouble, Lord. Bless the ones that have sicknesses. We ask that you heal the sicknesses. I'm not going to call them out, Lord, because you know. We ask that you'll 
touch them, oh God, heal their bodies. We know you can, oh God, because you can do anything but fail. Now, if you would like to fail, Lord, we know that you're God. And you can do anything that you want to do. We can't stop you. Praise God. But Lord, we love you, Lord, and we thank you. We ask that you touch the hearts and minds of the young people and bless the older women and men of God. And give them the strength to serve you, O oh God. Give them strength in their bodies, O oh God. And give them strength to deliver your word, O oh God. Give them strength to preach your word and to carry on and to go on in your name, Jesus. Lord, it's hard trying to be a pastor and trying to work in the church, O oh God. Because sometimes the strength, the strength, we lose our strength. But, O oh God, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Lord, we ask that you'll keep us and watch over us. Watch over the homeless people. O oh God, look at this world today, we ask that you'll save, Lord. Touch, save, heal, and deliver. God, you will deliver, and you'll do it on time. So, God, we ask you to do this in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Praise God. Now, I just want to let you know that God is omnipotent, omnipresent. Praise God. He's a God that's everywhere. He's unsearchable. He's merciful. He's gracious. Praise God. He's lovable. Praise God. He's royal. He's kind. He's tender. Praise God. And he's just a good God. Praise God. He's a beautiful God. He's a wonderful God. Praise God. He's wonderful. He's a mighty counselor. Praise God. He's the Prince of Peace. A mighty God is he. And I thank God for saving me and keeping me from all sin and shame. Yes, God is wonderful. Praise God. At this time... I ask you to be blessed. Watch over, over yourself. Watch yourself and pray. Because you never know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen after you leave from hearing this tape. But we hope and pray that God will be with you. And that God will protect you. And we hope that His blood covers you. Because there are so many things going on in this world today. Praise God. I've said enough. I just want to let you know that I love you. And I thank God for you at this time.